Hello and welcome back to Jeff's Giant Growing Journal. Uh, what you're looking at is my 150 square foot patch. Uh, you can tell there is uh, a few weeds or grass in there. Um, I have given up <laughs> um, on this plant. Uh, I actually gave up on it a while ago, uh, obviously based on those weeds. It um, it just never really took off. Uh, I believe I said that in my last video. Uh, right there is the fruit. That fruit, I believe, is 50 days old. Uh, probably less than 100 pounds. Um, and just never took off. From uh, day 20, I believe it was 21, to day 25, it grew in circumference less than 2 inches. And it really should have been 6 or 7 uh, at a minimum. So uh, it never took off. I kind of gave up after... Uh, after that, I was actually going to pull the plant. My wife talked me out of it. Um, and uh, so we just kind of let it go. And uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I did have uh, some female flowers on uh, over here on these uh, vines here that had six and seven lobes. Uh, I was hoping that they got pollinated. I couldn't find any males to do it myself. Uh, there was none in here, none in my other plants that I could find right off. So uh, I don't believe that they got pollinated. Um, so unfortunately, I won't get to see what a seven lobe fruit looks like. Um, but over here is the 1965.5 rotaball. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of leaves. Um, if I were to actually go in there and trim everything, it would be crazy the amount of vegetation that I would remove. Uh, but I kind of gave up on this plant as well. Um, these posts um, are actually the edge of the patch. Uh, it's actually about two feet now, maybe a foot inside of those posts. And you can tell I've got it going outside of it. I just kind of let it go. And uh, the reason is uh, I believe this fruit is 40 days old. And uh, that is it. Um, it's not real, real big. Um, it's going to be uh, an orange. Um, and so, you know, I'll probably end up selling the fruit. Uh, it's not going to be real, real big. I honestly don't even know what it tapes. The last time I was supposed to tape it, uh, I didn't do it. Simply because it just wasn't, didn't take off. Uh, it, not because the plant, um, this was before I let it go. It just, this is the second fruit on it and it just really never took off so uh, I kind of gave up on it kind of let it go uh, I'm gonna keep it as a porch pumpkin sell it somewhere maybe make a little bit of money off of it and uh, we'll go from there with it but uh, there's several other pumpkins inside this plant anywhere from 40 to 50 pounds probably uh, and so if they can turn a nice orange then uh, maybe they'll have some value uh, for me um, I've got a long gourd there, a uh, long gourd plant. I have no long gourd. Uh, if you look closely, there's some leaves that look very, very bad in there. Uh, that's because I pulled the stump. Uh, I pulled the stump because nothing ever got pollinated. I didn't do it myself. And so uh, the moths apparently did not do it for me. And so uh, I just uh, pulled the stump and uh, I'll end up pulling that plant uh, little by little and get it out of there. Uh, so on to the one that I'm concentrating on. Okay, so we are inside the greenhouse and uh, this is the plant that I've been concentrating on. Um, you can see uh, it does look like it's in rough shape. I got hit with powdery mildew very, very badly and uh, I've cut off quite a few leaves. Uh, there is the stump. Uh, you can see there is weeds. Um, but uh, I've been doing everything I can to get this fruit to go as long as I possibly can, including grow lights and um, doing whatever I can. I have uh, removed the shade cloth. Um, we are uh, at a point where the shade cloth isn't helping me, even though we just got through a very hot spell. Uh, but uh, you can see here the leaves that are there are not terrible uh, this back half of the plant like I said got hit with powdery mildew and uh, is not not looking real good 
but uh, overall the plant is not terrible. Let me get uh, to the other side here. Okay, let me uh, turn this fan off here. All right, so as you can see here, the leaves really aren't uh, in terrible shape on this end of the plant. Uh, I do have grow lights going, uh, obviously, and uh, we're gonna try it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it works. I don't know if it helps. I don't grow on a scale, so I don't know uh, if it's helping, hurting. I have a hard time believing it's hurting, but uh, yeah. So uh, I do have some grow lights. They do not run all night. Uh, I let them uh, got them on a timer they run uh, early morning and they run uh, into the evening and uh, just trying to help what I can uh, on this newer growth so uh, we're trying it we're gonna see what happens see if it helps me out see how much it helps me out uh, I did find a small spot right there on the main vine today uh, I walk my main vine uh, if you look careful you can see some spots where I step uh, and I do that to check it and make sure that nothing crazy is going on. If I did not walk my main vine, I would have not found that spot. I scraped it. I've got a fan on it. I sprayed it with alcohol. Going to check it again uh, tomorrow morning and see what it looks like. Uh, possibly put more alcohol on it. Hopefully uh, that dries up and uh, it's good to go. Walking the main vine check or i'm sorry finds those problem areas sooner if you can find them sooner you can uh, stop them stop them from doing any major damage uh, you will notice that there is some weeds in here uh, i've seen a lot on facebook where guys have said you know what it's august we don't care about the weeds we're gonna let them go uh, if you want to grow big don't let them go get in there spray them with roundup pull them whatever whatever you got to do get them out of there uh, those are sucking up nutrients that your plant should take up uh, you see a tomato plant there as well there is a tomato on there let me uh, get you over there to that all right so here is the tomato uh, i had another one on here that i thought was fused to this uh, this one here is probably i'm going to guess two pounds um, we'll find out in another day or so right here is the stem to the other one um, it uh, the whole plant fell over because i didn't have it supported and uh, it broke that tomato off um, i knew for a couple weeks that it was not uh, fused together but uh, i figured i'd just let it go see what happens um, since then I've got that. Um, it is pollinated. It is growing. We will see in the next few days what it does. I don't know if it's fused. I don't know um, it, what's going to happen with it. It's kind of late in the year to uh, get anything real good off of it, but we'll see. See what happens. I do have some other blooms on here. i got to pull those off um, just to get rid of them. Um, just so it's not sucking nutrients from uh, that one or that one down there so that is it for uh, probably the year um, I will probably uh, not do any more videos this year um, we will uh, see what this fruit does uh, this is Juanita so uh, if you hear me talk about Juanita uh, this pumpkin is Juanita that one is Jolene, um, and so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, uh, but Juanita uh, is doing well. We'll see where she ends up at the end of the year. We got uh, quite a bit of time before she gets weighed, so um, good luck to everyone out there. Um, God bless and grow big.